Alright, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Justin Chad Brighthop. You're watching another epic, awesome, amazing episode of the Messianic Bible Observant Followers of Yushua Hamashiach. And I'm on YouTube, BitChute, Odyssey, and all kinds of places. New places all the time. So, today, I want to talk to you guys about the Ancient Hebrew Bookstore and Jeff Brenner's awesome books. He has sent me some ebooks to look at. And this is the ones that he sent me so far. I think this is probably all of them. What's amazing about these books is they teach you ancient biblical Hebrew, including the pictographic Hebrew, which is really, really cool. So here we've got an ancient Hebrew Torah. That's the first five books of the Bible right there. And they're written in the ancient pictographic Hebrew. So if I open that up and just show you the cover of the book, oops, I don't want to go too far through it here. If I just show you the cover of the book, you're going to see some of that ancient pictographic Hebrew that you've seen in some of my video presentations and things like that, where I'm showing uh, the original Hebrew, as far as we know, it's original. And he also uses modern Hebrew and everything else. He has this awesome mechanical translation of the Torah. So it goes from the Hebrew books of uh, Bereshit, Genesis, uh, you know, all the way through the Torah. And it goes directly from the Hebrew words and phrases into English. And it's very awesome. I like it. He also has one that's just the English. Yeah, his translation of the Torah right here. And he's also got books on how to learn uh, Biblical Hebrew. Yeah, one and two. He's got uh, the, his name is one. All about the name of Yahuwah. And he goes with Yahweh as the um, you know mainstream. He's got one about all about creation. He calls it Genesis in and quantum physics. He's got his translations I went through. And then he's got his own commentary, which I have not explored yet. He has the ancient lexicon of the Bible. This is an expanded version of this version down here. So this is the one I think that has a lot more content than the other one. That's just my initial observation on it. And then ancient Hebrew language alphabet. Ancient Hebrew Dictionary, which is helpful, uh, as well as the lexicon. And a New Testament Greek to Hebrew Dictionary, if you're trying to translate from Greek to Hebrew. Although, now I'm learning about, you know, the Aramaic New Covenant, and it sounds like that may be the place to start rather than the Greek. So, in any case, this is going to be really helpful. And I think, you know, as far as the New Covenant Aramaic, um, I... I Really curious how easy it is to translate between the Aramaic and the Hebrew. I'd really like to learn that and see how to read the Aramaic as well. But this is where I want to start is just with the Hebrew. And since Hebrew and Aramaic are so similar, um, translations from Aramaic to Hebrew are probably going to be, you know, they're actually less expensive than the English translations. Um, this one's the Living Words. It's all about how Hebrew is, you know, living word. And, you know, when you read it in English, it's, it's, uh, he compares it to microwave food versus going to a, a, a restaurant to eat. And Hebrew is really a three-dimensional language. And English, I think, is pretty much one-dimensional. So the Bible really does come alive a lot more when you're reading it in Hebrew. And I've noticed that when I've started um, dabbling and trying to read in Hebrew. I'll show you some of his ebooks and things on his site. And you can get them in paper copies as well. He uh, not only has ebooks here, but he also has books... In print, he has videos that you can pay for and watch, and he has um, online video courses. He has study packages you can buy, and subscriptions. Okay, all these wonderful things. And as I can afford them, or someone else affords them for me, I may check them out in the future. Um, here again, you've got his ebooks and mechanical translation. You got the ancient Hebrew lexicon of the Bible, and that's the that's the big one. That's the I think the really in-depth one. And then you've got Brenner's commentary on the Torah, which again, I have not even checked into yet. Uh, Brenner's translation of the Torah. This is the one where if you don't want to read the mechanical translation, you just want to read the English. This is it right here. The mechanical translation is more uh, literal, I think. It, it really breaks down everything so that you really know what's being said in Hebrew. This one here is just more of a, you can read through it easy, easily in English and you don't have to break down all the words. So you can do the same thing with the mechanical translation as well. He has it there as well, but this version is without, uh, I think it's without the Hebrew. Ancient uh, Hebrew language and alphabet, again, I think I started reading that one. Um, that looks pretty cool. Um, I, I just got these books, so I'm hoping to get through them 
and read them and learn everything that I can. And, you know, there's other books. This is the one right here that I was most fascinated by. This is the ancient Hebrew Torah with the actual ancient pictograms. That's the one I've been most interested in. I think you still might be able to get all these books together, ebooks, for like 100 bucks. It's $140 value. Um, and that price, I think the price will probably, I'm just anticipating it's going to go up in the future. So, um, you know, as this becomes more and more uh, interesting to people and, so I think now is a good time, you know, last year, anytime it's a good time to buy these because as they get more popular in the future, uh, I would expect the price, the value is just going to keep going up. Ancient Hebrew Torah lexicon right there. I have this in print at home. It's pretty awesome. And then the Ancient Hebrew Dictionary, which pretty much, you know, these books all go together. Uh, well, all of them do, but... Uh, the, the ancient Hebrew Torah, the, all, both lexicons that he makes, and the ancient Hebrew dictionary. And then he's got the living words, which explains how the word comes alive and all that awesomeness. And then down here, his name is one going into the names of Yahuwah. And uh, I don't know if he goes into Yusha Mashiach in that book or not. I have to look. And this is a creationism book about uh, creative design and everything in, in Bereshit and Genesis. And then you go down here, you got the how to learn uh, Biblical Hebrew. Again, this is the ancient-hebrew.org. Learn to read Biblical Hebrew Volume 2. We've got a New Testament Greek to Hebrew Dictionary again. And yeah, I think maybe he sent me more books than are available on this page. I'm not entirely sure. Anyways, they're there. And yes, you can get them or could get them as a group um, before I found and so this here, it just shows them in print, and they're available on Amazon or directly from the publisher, it says. And I don't know. I mean, I would always rather order from anywhere besides Amazon if I can. Um, you know, anywhere that's uh, that goes along with my beliefs. So the publisher site said that they could be expecting delays um, because of pandemic. So I don't know uh, what's going on there. But there's that. And then if we want to look just for fun... At his videos and his courses and his study packs and his subscriptions and you can become an affiliate too I think and possibly help resell his stuff which I don't have any affiliate links I'm just doing this um, because it's amazing it's exciting and I'll learn about it now he's selling all 11 videos for 80 bucks to save $35 or you can pay per video he's got an introduction to ancient Hebrew he has a history of Hebrew, its language and philosophy. He has the Aaronic Blessing, uh, Ancient Hebrew Alphabet, the Ancient Hebrew Seminar, uh, the Ark of the Covenant, and then uh, it says that one is a unique interpretation of the appearance of the purpose of the Ark of the Covenant by examining Hebrew text of the Bible. And Semitic Origins of the New Testament, Four Stages of Biblical trans Transmission. And then down here we have a Bereshit Genesis Chapter 1 study. And the way of Yahuwah. Uh, in the Bible, the way to Yahuwah is described as a journey, a path uh, leading to destination, to a destination. And now three keys to proper biblical interpretation. That's down there. Over here at Mr. Benner's online video courses. Okay, learning to read Biblical Hebrew, how to do a Hebrew word study without knowing Hebrew, and then learn the ancient Hebrew alphabet and language down there. Um, over here, ancient Hebrew study packs, mechanical translation of Genesis, introduction to ancient Hebrew, um, the ancient Hebrew alphabet, Hebrew word studies, the ancient Hebrew culture and philosophy, the ancient Hebrew vocabulary, the ancient Hebrew language, the name of Yahuwah and his character, biblical interpretations, learn Hebrew, uh, the Hebrew Bible in its history, ancient Hebrew Torah, the mechanical translation, and New Testament studies. Now, other than Jeff Brenner, all I've seen for reading um, ancient pictographic Hebrew, I've seen a, a professor online that put up some videos that you can watch. Um, but he doesn't get into the ancient uh, pictograms as far as I know. Uh, Jeff Brenner, really, as far as I can tell, he's the only person, at least in English, on the Internet that really gets into the ancient Hebrew stuff and goes over it. Jeff Brenner has read lots and lots of books. I think they're mainly just dictionaries of 
Hebrew words. I'd have to look at back at his recording where he explains the books that he read to figure this stuff out. But basically, I think, from my perspective, going through uh, Jeff Brenner's books first might give us a head start, it looks like, uh, with getting into ancient Hebrew. And then, if we want to go and read all the books that Jeff Brenner has read uh, to get this far, then, you know, we can learn even more. And I think that, you know, everybody has their own interpretation, understanding of the Bible. It's just human nature. It's who we are. So, you know, Jeff Brenner, in my opinion, is probably the expert, at least that I'm aware of, on this subject. And I did find one professor. Otherwise, people have to go uh, to universities and hope they can find someone that's as invested in this as Jeff Brenner is, and they got to pay huge tuition fees and probably buy lots of books and show up and do all this stuff, you know, on the university schedule. And they're very strict. The professors I had heard heard from are very very strict, and you go through and do it that way, or you can do it on your own online. Uh, and I've been told that Jeff Brenner does respond to people's emails. He's responded to mine. And so if you do get stuck, if you, you go through this stuff and you get stuck, you might be able to contact him and get a response. Um, but, you know, you're not alone anyway, because if you're in the Messianic uh, Bible observant community or other people who are just Torah observant, Torah observant community, then you're going to find other people that you can talk to that may be on the same journey that you are and you can collaborate and learn on this and go to the places online but um, the ancient pictographic Hebrew fonts you know Jeff Brenner has a page on his site where you can download those and it says learn to type in Hebrew um, you can get that on your computer and get it going but I've already learned quite a bit just from looking through uh, Jeff Brenner's books um, you know even though I haven't really got a chance to read through any of them completely yet other than maybe the the lexicon the the, ba the more basic lexicon that he has and I, I've learned a lot already and I also have some acquaintances friends that have really helped me as well and so that's awesome but you know don't be intimidated or scared even if you think you're on your own or you have been on your own learning this stuff don't don't be intimidated because those who seek the truth and follow it and don't allow it to become a stumbling block for them are going to be rewarded with wisdom, okay? They're going to be rewarded with knowledge and understanding. So as long as you do what you know and you take advantage of what's in front of you and you're obedient and you follow Yahuwah in spirit and truth and receive his son, Yusha Mashiach, who died to save you on the cross, forgiveness of sins, and you receive his Ruach HaKadosh and your Holy Spirit and you're baptized and you receive communion and all these things, as long as you do that, you try to do your best to live by every word that sees the mouth of Yahuwah as you learn it, as he brings it to you, you, you should be you should be good to go. He will bless you. He's going to help you. Okay? And just for those of you who don't know, my website where I'm learning and studying is BibleCourts.com. It used to be a nice uh, WordPress site that looks really nice, but um, I, I was hosted with a company that uh, broke it, didn't do a good job. So it's back to this plain HTML site for now, and some of my videos have been deleted, so I'm going to have to go through and replace these with other videos. But um, other than that, the website, I think, underneath the laws for today and what Christmas is really about and judgments against Washington State and things like that, all of this stuff uh, should be working. And so please pray that I'll have time to do these things or that Yuhua will send volunteers to help me. I have been really blessed i was blessed to receive these books um, from jeff brenner because that's really going to help me um, i was also blessed that someone um, backed up my website and put it on their server and i we're still sorting that out and they're going to try to fix the uh the old the, the wordpress site so that's amazing got people volunteering doing these things uh, i had at least one maybe two people volunteer to help me with the jay and linux project and uh, so it's it, the more volunteers I can get to help with the to-do list and the things need to get done, the better. And uh, of course, as long as I have food and resources to keep working and doing ministry, then I'll have time to you know read through these things and do these things, and learn these things, and produce more content, produce you know hopefully some music and produce uh, content and get things together so that we can 
All learn together how to live by every word that sees the mouth of Yahuwah and Yusham Sheikhs, my name, how to follow the entire Bible. And uh, that's, you know, that's where my heart is. And to get the gospel out, get the gospel message out as well. And I believe that the more that we live by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of Yahuwah, every word of the Bible that, that that's given to us by the Creator and the, the Messiah, who are one to follow, that people are going to want to do what we're doing. And they're going to want to listen to us. And they're going to want to receive the word. At least that's my hope. But I know we'll be blessed and we'll be, we should be speaking the same language and coming together. Uh, that's what the Bible says. If we obey the law, if we obey uh, the Bible, then we're supposed to be speaking the same language and being brought out um, of Babylon into his country, his nation, his place for his people. So um, that's what I'm believing in and looking forward to. So anyways, thanks so much, and I will go ahead and end this video with a salvation prayer. I pray, Yahuwah Av, we, we worship you in spirit and in truth. Let us know you in spirit and truth. I confess that you are Yahuwah, and that we have sinned against you. And you send your son, uh, Yusha Mashiach, to die on the cross for our sins, as some people have called Jesus the Messiah, or Jesus the Christ, to come to die for our sins, to forgive us and save us. And I confess you are Yahuwah, and that we have sinned against you, and I thank you and praise and ask for forgiveness baptism, communion, your Holy Spirit, and all good things. And it is a good of you train us up and live, should go by your law, your will, your word, and your way. That we would not seek after destruction or follow in it, but that we live by every word that proceeds the mouth of you, that you train us up to do that and not be in destruction. You show me my name. Above me, can I thank you, imagine. And I thank you that we get to be in heaven with you forever and ever and receive all good things, that you keep us on the straight and narrow path that leads to you and to life abundantly. Above me, can I thank you, imagine. And that you put walls and guardrails around us to keep us from going off to the left or the right. I think you put an end to wickedness and those who will not turn back to you. But I pray they would turn back to their whole heart, soul, mind, and strength. And follow you and your commandments and your entire word. And you, Shem Sheikhs, my name, receive salvation, baptism, communion, and all these good things. And I thank you that you make us completely independent from the kingdoms of man and, and all the things of this world. And completely dependent on you, that you... Uh, set us free from Egypt and Babylon and Rome and all the things of this world and, and all the evil things and just make us completely set apart and holy unto you and Kadosh and uh, that we'd be like you. I thank you for every way you speak to us through your word, your will, and your way and even through these books like Jeff Brenner's written through creation, uh, through all good things in Yushem Sheikh's mighty name, through every word that sees the mouth of Yahuwah and uh, through visions and dreams and miracles, signs and wonders, all these things. And I pray that everybody receive all these things from you in spirit and truth and follow you in spirit and truth. Everyone and their children and children's children for all generations. And they speak to us through creation, through the people, through everything. And I pray for everyone and their children's children through all generations to receive all these blessings we've talked today um, forever and ever. And turn back to the whole of my strength. I pray as the Father, as the Son has taught us to pray. Thy Av who art in heaven, thy Father who art in heaven, hallowed be your name, your Kadosh, Kadosh, Kadosh. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. And I also want to pray a special blessing for um, Jeff Brenner at ancienthebrew.org for uh, sending me the books to study and learn, and for all their work. I mean, that's a lot of work to do what he's done and to put all this stuff together, and for others like him, and for all those out here who want to seek the truth, and live by every word that sees the mouth of Yahuwah, and leave all the ways of the world. I thank you for that. And Yushim Sheikh's my name. I pray for special blessings and protection for everyone, and for all your blessings. And I thank you and praise you. You know, uh, Amen. Some people, someone asked me. They said, "How? What's going to happen? Why? How's this going to be made available to everybody to learn all these things?" And I said, "Well, you know, the more that we follow." Uh, the truth, what we know, the more is going to be given to us, and we all should end up in the same place with the same language and everything. So just thank and praise him for that. And you should be shakes my name above me. What can I just thank imagine? All right, well, thanks so much for watching the video, and I look forward to getting into all these books and learning everything. And again, just pray for time. Really pray for time, you know, and it says things need to be done, or uh, that have been done and need to be done, uh, you know, food and laundry and income and chores and all kinds of things. So, um, time to go through all this stuff and get it done is, is a great blessing and a miracle. <laughs> so, all right.